Neil Patrick Harris shares his excitement behind his new Netflix series, Uncoupled, and how the romantic comedy is something everyone can relate to. I'm just a big fan of the show. I mean, Netflix has been a super supporter of gay content, of, of giving us the opportunity to tell a story that is u both unique and super uh, recognizable and relatable. It's a breakup show. It's a breakup comedy by Darren Starr. So you have Sex in the City vibes, but you have sort of a gut punch of emotion, which he didn't really, wasn't really able to accomplish so much on Sex in the City. And so I was worried that people would only be able to watch this if they were a gay man of a certain age. I thought, is this show too niche? You know what I mean? But in point of fact, I think everyone's gone through a breakup or everyone's terrified of going through, of being broken up with. And this show is a comedic take on that idea that also allows you to like get swept away and care about these characters. So I was really pleased to be a part of this. After 17 years, my boyfriend told me he was leaving me. What? After you? Yup. And he kept saying, uh -huh. oh, I'm officially out of the fan club. He also reveals what it's like to have been with his husband, David Bertka, for 18 years. Wow, David and I started dating and we never stopped. So in an interesting way, it's all I've known. Like, I didn't come out till later. I didn't really date a bunch of random people. I wasn't around during the times of Grindr and, and swipe left, swipe right. So I fell head over, head over heels for this dude and, and he was into me and we started living together relatively quickly and now we have 11 year old kids and we're still going strong. So I'm just, I don't know, that's my singular story. I don't know anything different and I'm, I'm super happy. I'm very grateful. And in true Neil fashion, he goes on to explain his new tattoo and the magical inspiration behind it. Ah, I always wanted a second tattoo. I was filming um, a Doctor Who special in London and I knew that the tattoo was going to be a top hat and a magical sort of classic one. I wanted it to be very detailed and I figured the Brits would know how to do a top hat better than the Americans. <laughs> so I had it done there. And this amazing Frenchman named Thomas did it. And it only took like four hours. I'm glad it was done.